Well, crude prices were down for the session, but closing over 50, even though we dropped under that mark uh, for one point early on. Now, it's not surprising that the market is still hopeful about this OPEC deal, but how many times has OPEC spoken before only to disappoint? So there certainly is some skepticism out there. And after reaching a one-year high, it's not surprising that there's some profit-taking in crude. The dollar index getting near 98 today, certainly part of this trade, putting pressure not just on oil, but commodities in general. Uh, U.S. crude inventories delayed till tomorrow, so we'll hear from the Department of Energy and the API this afternoon to set us up. Remember, the EIA is changing how they're reporting these inventories. They're removing lease stocks from the total number. So what we'll find tomorrow is a slash of about 30 million barrels of crude, um, and we'll continue to see these numbers removed as we go forward. Now, the market is anticipating this. The news has been out for quite some time, but analysts are telling me they're not exactly sure how crude will trade around that number tomorrow. So watch it to uh, 11 o'clock tomorrow. Back over to you.